Opioids are a group of medications that are either synthesized from or derived from a poppy or synthesized to mimic that chemical structure. They include lots of things that we've all heard of, so opium, heroin, morphine, dilaudid, fentanyl, codeine, oxycodone, hydrocodone, which is the ingredient of Vicodin and Norco, and methadone. So how many people in this room know somebody who has been prescribed or given one of these medications at some point? Right? Like, so lots of people, these are very ubiquitously used medicines, and they are a huge problem in the United States. So the death rate from opioids rose from 6.1 per 100,000 in 2009 to 13.8 per 100,000 in 2014. So in five years, the death rate more than doubled from these. More than 250,000 Americans have died from opioids in the last 20 years. And I'm sure all of you in the, in the press have read about the opioid epidemic. This graph is just looking at children nine and younger who are visiting the emergency department for opioid poisoning. And as you can see, steadily going up. I'm not really sure what this little decline is. It's a nice thing, but really, if you look from 2006 to 2012, there's been a dramatic leap. There are roughly 7,000 people every day treated in the emergency department for opioid misuse. And in 2011, 19% of all of that, those were kids. From 2006 to 2012, there are 928 emergency department visits for poisoning by opioids in kids younger than 18, and 62% of those were unintentional. So that's not our adolescents and teens dabbling with their drug use. This is little guys accidentally getting into medicines around the house. In fact, kids whose moms were prescribed an opioid, so the mom didn't even have to fill it, were 2.4 times more likely to overdose. And in this study, the mean age of child who overdosed was two years old. So these are really, really big problems going on everywhere in the United States. And the symptoms of opioid overdose, decreased respiratory rate, confusion and coma, and then you die because you stop breathing. So your respiratory rate slows and slows, then stops. And once your brain and heart don't have oxygen for very long, that's when you die. It's just like in the movies with a heroin overdose. So the toxic dose for these can be as little as one pill. And again, it really varies depending on what medicine we're talking about and what concentration, but absolutely can be just one. So I have a few conclusions about this one. First of all, think twice about filling that prescription if you have any kids that might be in your house. Of course, if you have a broken bone, you need to treat your pain and you deserve to feel comfortable, but if you have something a little low back pain, a headache, maybe don't fill the prescription for opioids. If you did need it and you're done now, make sure to dispose of your medicines properly and your pharmacy can help you get rid of your medicine safely. And then lastly, if you do decide to use them, lock them up.